Show me love him, the champ. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Gordon! Next up, we got last year's runner up, driver number 31, Caterpillar Chevrolet. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Newman! The man with the beautiful beard making his first ever appearance in the chase. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise for Paul Menard! And last but definitely not least, the 16th seed in the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Clint Boyer. We are going to take some pictures with these boys and the trophy. You know they're going to be hopping around today. Here at this stage, we're going to be doing some fun Q&As with them. They're also going to be at the stage at the other end where NBC is live right now with their NASCAR America show. Plus, you know they're going to be doing autographs. So let's get some good pictures of these guys for Chase Fest presented by Toyota. Make some noise for your 16 challengers, everybody. Exactly. Oh, I'm, I meant all of us. You meant, uh, not you. Okay. Fair enough. Denny's not I, sad. Late last night, Denny, I, we were all hanging out together. He, he actually made a comment. He was sad as well. Okay, I believe Jeff. I'm just messing with you guys. No, I, I, listen, I, I'm, I, to me, I, this is a year of celebration more than anything else. I, I'm, I, I'm still amazed when I look at the stats and the numbers and the, the, the years that I've uh, been doing this. And Yeah, in a way, it's kind of sad to leave, but I'm also more excited about the future. And, and we're going to get to see you a bunch next year, right? Yeah, you're not going to get rid of me that easy. No way. <laughs> Do you feel like, it, will you be able to yell at Jimmy more uh, next year? I've never yelled at Jimmy. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> once. Have you ever told on him? Told on him? Oh. I'm, I'm trying to point some things out along the way. Are you talking about Darlington? You're not talking about Darlington. That, that, yeah, you passed me. Way. I was the leader of the road. That had nothing to do with Jimmy. It had everything to do with NASCAR not making the call. <laughs> Oh. It's pretty obvious to us what happened on a bit road. I guess they didn't catch it on TV. Well, it's not my fault you guys couldn't figure out if you wanted pit or not. I just forced your hand. <laughs> the rest of us were going yeah. to the D in Darlington when they said in the driver's meeting, this is where you turn off the track to go to pit road. He forced our hands so well, he ran out of tires. <laughs> yeah, I did. I was so eager to get there, I ran out of tires. How's the, is this, is this number 4-0 for you? Are you really 40? It is, yes. Wow! Based on the celebrating Jeff was talking about, uh, we, we all had a lot of fun last night. I feel like I'm 80, not 40 today. Mm -hmm. It's weird, you're moving like Denny was moving right after he was playing hoops a couple weeks ago. I think that was the first, that was the first time we noticed that. Yeah, I'm not moving too well. But here's the crazy thing. He was walking fine last night. <laughs> 
Diddy, let's let's tell people because obviously it's, it's what's going on. It's sore out of the car, but in the car you seem totally fine. You told them to put the pedals back after they tried to make it a little better. You said no, let's, let's just go out there. It, any difference, obviously, for you being in the car and, and before and after? Uh, after a little bit, but in the car there's there's nothing wrong. I mean, I'm nearly walking normal now, so it's everything's fine. Next story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. What about what about you, Kyle? But, but obviously, there's a lot of people. Win who would win in a foot race between you and me right now? Oh! You guys should try that, like on stage, foot race. Right uh, Go yeah. for it. No, definitely not on stage. Yeah. Too far to fall off. <laughs> 40 yard dash. Kyle, let's, let's play out 40. That's way too far. <laughs> Stay in the, the beer stand, probably be all right. Do you feel like the triathlon side of the stage is, is closer or exclusively Jimmy? Oh, yeah, overachievers down at that end. <laughs> that, that's what it is. Kyle, let's, let's talk about your year. There's, there's not many people that saw what happened in Daytona and expected you to be here on the stage with us. The whooping that you guys put on people to get here. Pretty phenomenal. There's a lot of people that just hope to have one run like that in their career, but here you are on the stage. You know, when you think about what it takes to get here and how you guys are now, how do you kind of put it all in perspective for your year? Uh, I don't know if you really can, but um, you know, so far so good. Obviously, you know, with the, the way the year started, it was pretty bad, but uh, to take that sort of bad into the good that we have now is uh, is pretty phenomenal. So, just a true testament to all of Joe Gibbs Racing, everyone there in the shop, everyone, my teammates, Danny, Matt, Carl, and our, our crew chiefs that work so well together. It's just been uh, really a year and a half coming together. You know, we've been kind of behind a little bit, but uh, we knew one week, once we got all the pieces of the puzzle put together, that the work that we did in all the areas as a whole would, would make us one of the top teams once it all came together, and, and finally it did. So it made my job look a heck of a lot easier, but, you know, uh, we, we, we've, we've, uh, we've run well. That, that summer months was, was really good, and now we just got to uh, concentrate on the last 10 weeks and, and do it all over. It's crazy. That some of the stuff you were telling us one day about uh, the amount of physical therapy and the things that you were having to do to really accelerate that curve. Because if people don't know, let's all I did was as much as Jimmy Johnson does in the day. Like on a Tuesday. <laughs> Basically, Jimmy's like off day Tuesday workout was what you're doing every day. Yeah, that's it. It's because people have seen you get out of the car, have an amazing race, finish second, and if they could only imagine what you were like watching a race at home that you were supposed to be in, I, I God bless Samantha. That was I, that had to have been something to watch you with a band just angry. Yeah, this, yeah. I, I sure, he out. was angry at me from home because <laughs> of his car spinning out right in front of me. I never touched the guy, and, 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 and he was mad as hell at me. I was. Yeah, he was like tweeting stuff. <laughs> I stuck up for you when you hit the bare wall in Atlanta. Oh, man. Oh, no. You, well, you got my stuff. I'm just saying, he was taking it literally. His car was out there. It's like, like he was still driving it. Even though he wasn't behind the wheel. Like, was I was definitely morning. not driving it. I will, I will. No, you definitely were not the one driving it. <laughs> oh, Truex, let's talk about you, bro. The, the smaller team, the fight that it took for you guys to get here, you never checked up all year. You let everybody know this was your plan, and it took that win in Pokemon to seal it. How's it feel for you guys? Yeah, it feels good. I mean, uh, yeah, obviously it's... Uh, we're really, really excited about the opportunity that uh, that's in front of us. The next ten races, I think that uh, we've done some good things this year. We've got a really strong team, and uh, just looking forward to having ten good races. You know, it's, uh, it's all on the line, so it should be fun. You want me to ask a question, Alex? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Fire away. <laughs> um, just talking, you know, to Kyle and Denny a little bit about Joe Gibbs Racing and the dominance that you guys have had. I mean, what's your outlook on the chase since you won eight of the eleven? last races as a team? Uh, essentially, it's just, let's try to not peak too early, I guess, and hope it's not over, and we can carry it on into the chase. I remember 2008 uh, quite vividly that we were really, really good, and then all of a sudden the wheels literally fell off. So, uh, you know, we don't want to have the same things like that happen again. And, you know, um, obviously TRD's done a great job. Our engines are, are running well, so we got to keep those under us. And, of course, um, you know, the rest of the parts and pieces we've had fail over the years, you know, hopefully finally we've come to the conclusion of those things that uh, this could be our year for, for Joe Gibbs Racing, whether it's uh, 11, 18, 19, or 20. I'm trying to figure out what is wrong with that doll on your head. <laughs> 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 switching. 
He's a He's uh, whipping or nay nay. So whipping. Oh. Yeah, but it goes going. It's like, it's like the Saturday Night Live. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, Alright, I'm gonna go back to the Yeah, 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 I'm gonna go back to the so let's. All right, good thought. I'm, wait, this Jack now? How did you? Do you do the name? Oh, he's got so many dancing talents. I have no idea. Are you, are you better at the whip or the nay nay? If you had to choose, neither. I don't know how the man can break dance. Jeff, yeah, would you mind showing us all you can dance? Luckily, uh, way too old. There's not enough room up here. On the stage. Yeah. Was, yeah. the, was the retirement, this was all one big place, so you could go do like Dancing with the Stars and yeah. so you think That's you can it. dance? That's Somebody it. has to take over the NASCAR club that Michael Walter put on Dancing with the Stars. Whoa. I saw earlier, Denny said that he would do it on Twitter. Oh, uh, definitely. If you had Emma yeah. as your partner. I don't think... It has to be Emma. It can't I don't be think Emma. could do it. He way too many injuries. Nah. Uh, he wouldn't make a full season. <laughs> 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 I like watching you guys make fun of each other. That's way better than what any of us does, it, for the record. I should have seen it last night. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I bet it was fantastic. Moving on, moving on. Last night, Denny was walking, playing basketball. I was dancing. This guy, you were like up on tables. No. No! He is quite the table dancer. <laughs> I, is that is that when Truex gets a little rowdy? I mean, I've I've heard some stories that are a little closer to the lake, but I didn't know like if you'd ever just get crazy in front of these guys. I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> you left Jimmy out. Was Jimmy not out last night? Oh, no, he was out. He's quiet over here today. I, I was taking like, care of him on his third day. Were you like? Were you just when when everyone else was um, having a good time? Were you like on a treadmill right next to him? <laughs> Jazzercising. Jazzercise. Yes. <laughs> just keeping it. Just keeping it loose. Keeping it ready. I gotta wonder. So Jimmy, we've talked before. Been here in Chicago, done the Jimmy Jam, had a great time before, and you're always so quick to give Jeff the credit for for you being here, being on this stage, being such a big part of that, and being the guy that gave the nod. So if you two are lucky enough to make that last four in Homestead. I'm, I'm going to wreck them. Are you? That's what, give it to me straight. Just wreck them. Just, just like, because you're like, hey, this would be so cool. You win your last year, go out on top. There's the wall. That's what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say now. But <laughs> Yeah, no, he's pretty relentless. Uh, you know, I, I, I can think of uh, uh, 2007 where I was thinking, man, I, I wish I hadn't been so nice to this guy along the way, because I sure would like to have this championship. I think I would have had it if it had not been for this guy over here, and I think there's probably some other people on this stage and, and around here that maybe agree, but I, I think it's actually just more of a compliment you know, to Jimmy and the job that he's done. He's an amazing competitor. Madison, did you ever hear the story? Jimmy, what you gave you gave Denny some real words of wisdom, I think. On the, was it the pre race stage at Homestead, or was it the driver intros? You guys were riding around together. I think was that when you threw that final gauntlet down. I don't know if I've heard this. I think the, I think you might have put on a tiny bit of pressure that day. Well, I, I don't know if it really did anything, but I just remind him there's the biggest moment of our lives, somewhere along those lines. I don't know. If, anything or not, but it was my one little way to try. Uh, I'm trying to remember, did you, you won the championship that night, right? I did. Yeah, that might have done something. I think, is that trash talk where you're from? Like, it's a little bit of a, hey, just no big deal, just this is the biggest moment of your life. <laughs> yeah, or else it might come by in a different language. <laughs> it might be uh, abbreviated slightly. Yeah. The best in those posts, I mean, not posts, but uh, the, the things that happen down in Miami before the championship is Harvick. He, he's, he can really get things stirred up pretty well at that desk that we all have to sit at. Ask him some of those questions when he's up here. Oh, oh we will. Yeah. Oh, for sure. He had a, I'm not sure if he had as good of a time last night because he seemed to be more ready on the trash talk this morning early. He was, he was in good spirits this morning, so I guess no table dancing or anything like that for him. I don't know. Not like that for me. The spirit this morning, he was in, had nothing to do with what happened last night. 
last night. <laughs> she was right in there with, all with everybody. Of yes. <laughs> So you, guys really like, happy, you guys like coming to Chicago. What's your favorite thing to do while you're here? We've been working kind of all day, you know, talking about the chase. And, and I mean, we, I can't say that we really have vacation time while we're here. I think we'd all like to have, you know, on the track, but um, I, I'm going to go straight from here out to the track, which I think a lot of guys are. I mean, last night it was fun. I always have a great time on the, the Wednesday nights. But the location that we were at last night was amazing. Uh, great view of the lake and the park, uh, you know, and, and uh, it's fun to see that this group of drivers are getting ready to go into battle and compete with one another. The, the camaraderie and, and, and fun that, you know, exists two days before we get to the racetrack. And it's not an environment that we normally get to enjoy. And so I, I, I certainly enjoyed that. But I can't say it was going and enjoying Chicago because, because we were okay. just working and you know, hanging out. Getting ready for the chase. Thank you. Jimmy, you, you've spent some time in Chicago, right? What's your favorite thing to do here? Eat. That's so much good food. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a great city. I've lived in Wisconsin for a Make sure you put it in your app. <laughs> Uh, Do you have an app? What's up? There's a Jimmy. Is there a Jimmy Johnson app? No, no, there should be. Oh. So we were chatting the other day about some fitness stuff and food-related thing, and I've got this app that I'm entering my food into. Just oh see where no! I'm at, you have so. to keep a food diary. I'm just curious. Food diary. Oh, that's food the diary. worst, man. Right? Yeah. Don't bring out the food diary in Chicago. It'll trip it up every time. I turned it on last night or this morning. <laughs> It's hard to scan, it's got a little barcode scanner, it's hard to scan whiskey into it every time. <laughs> I bet it is. How many ounces did you put in? Yeah, it said four. <laughs> I didn't even enter. I just let it be. Take it back to four. its car. What about what about you? I know your uh, your wife's family is all from here, right? So yeah, yeah, I imagine you've had some fun in Chicago. Yeah, we go out with the family some and, and visit some of the family members and stuff like that around the area. But uh, you know, parents' games, whether they're winning or losing, are always fun. That's that's what I want to do. And then of course, uh, like Jimmy said, the food around Chicago is awesome. Whether it's pizza or something Italian, there's also some good, really good Mexican places to go to. Enjoy the overall atmosphere of, of coming to Chicago. It's fun. And I know the, the biggest Michael Jordan fan on the stage has to just immediately love this town. Uh, for obvious reasons. You just go to the arena and stare at the monument, right? You just look at the jersey and you're like, that guy. It's funny that, like, man, I remember when I used to be a run. It was so much fun. <laughs> Like, I used to do layups. You know, the one thing, there was there was uh, an ill-fated event once where they thought we should put a bunch of NASCAR drivers on the Charlotte uh, Bobcats arena. That was the worst idea. Arena. That was such Brad just embarrassed all of us. No, 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 I think that's the greatest video that you have on YouTube. Google it. Google it. You should definitely Google it. If you you want to laugh oh. out loud, oh. hey. Google. Brad? No, YouTube. Wait. Or not, I'll be honest with you. Our YouTube, yeah. YouTube, the Brad Keselowski basketball. The only reason he did Does that. Brad Keselowski play basketball? No, he doesn't. <laughs> no. I was just checking. No. I haven't seen the video. No, can nor nor had he ever had a ball in his hand, ever. <laughs> I don't, I don't, do you think he had heard the term basketball before that day? And he's proud of the moves he had. Like, you talk to him about it. He man did a great job. Huh. Joyful. <laughs> It would be like watching someone play ping pong with a football, is, is a good analogy. Just uh, every motion was completely foreign to him. And it's hard. I, isn't it traveling, Diddy, when you dribble well above your head? Is that... That's traveling, right? So that's... Yeah, I think I think there's a reason that... that I don't... Were you there playing that? Night? Oh, don't show him now. It's hard to watch, honestly. It's hard to watch. We're going to plug it in. So, just so we know, you were not playing. We had a little screen. Why did he have to play basketball? You know, it seemed like a premise. Okay, so here's what happened. I was supposed to be in that competition, but I blew my ACL two days before. The other one getting it. Shocker. Yeah. And boy, and Joey, Joey, the villain. Joey was there also, <laughs> worth watching his video as well. 
because it's hard to make a layup from uh, directly underneath the rim. But he was real honest about it. Just, hey, I don't, I don't play a lot of basketball. It was, it was serious. Trix, if we did some sort of a sporting event like that, what would be like? What's your go-to? Um, I'm not good at basketball or golf, but uh, I don't know. Baseball, I was pretty good at that years ago. And, uh, you hold football, I was Science? pretty decent at that too. When I was a kid. You hold these? You any good at fishing? Good at fishing. Good at archery. Yeah. Did you say archery? Yeah. Shooting a bow, you know, bow. I had dude. no idea Martin was a dork. It's just. A what? Do you also do you fence by any chance? Are you defensing? Yeah. Archery. Yeah. Wow. I only shoot bows. I think that's why you haven't invited me. Yeah. I'm not a fast runner. Yeah. Watch out. <laughs> you guys, let's give them a hand up here. Thank you guys. Great stories. Most inappropriate. Come up, Jeff. These guys are gonna head off. We got more drivers coming over.